using my words against me. I just let them alone till I'm empty. Evil coming at me like a monster, no weapon formed against me. Shut up. Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody tuning in to the weekly happenings, my words Wednesday, with your host with the most, Five Foot Giant, and um, we're going to bring y'all today's topic. <sighs> this week's topic is, the kids ain't the problem, we are. I know a lot of y'all might not want to hear that, but this is what is in the mind of five, so, because it's my words Wednesday, so it's my words. This is my thoughts. This is my feelings. This is how I'm feeling. This is how I'm getting down. So, um, I want to thank God for allowing me to be here another Wednesday, February 23rd. 2022. We're cruising up in this year. We're getting it in, y'all. This is the sixth episode, and um, we ain't in the studio today. I ain't making it out the office, so we, we're doing the office thing, baby. You know. But uh, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a we're gonna drop something on y'all today that a lot of y'all ain't gonna like. You know. This topic. A lot of grown folks probably see it different, but I'm grown, and this is how I feel. It's my words. The kids ain't the problem. We are. I mean, you got to ask yourself, kids cannot do nothing that we actually don't allow them to do. I mean, did the world change? Yeah. The world changed. Everybody know that. The world changed like a mug. It changed up. <laughs> it's, it's a complete turnaround. Complete change. But, you know, people probably thought the same thing when we was kids coming up. Our parents probably thought the same thing. Well, though the world may change, it's certain things that as adults, if we are the adults, all of us adults are always complaining about the kids. So, oh man, the kids tripping. Oh man, the kids is wild. And the kids is doing this. The kids doing that. Oh man, they, 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 you know, I know it's a mess. I know. But the kids are not in a, any position that we didn't allow them to be in. If we didn't want them to be in that position, then we would have, we would have prevented it. So. I'm not making no excuses up for, you know, the kids just out of line or this and that, but they can't do nothing that we didn't allow them to do. You know, when the world changed, instead of standing our ground, we let it change right over the top of us, you know. We could have stood our ground about certain things. Maybe not everything, but we could have stood our ground about certain things. I mean... Kids don't go outside no more. All they want to do is sit in the house and play games, whatever little games they got out right now. I forgot the name of the thing, but okay. They just want to do this. Okay, but whose house they sitting in? <laughs> I mean, it's our house. We control, you know. We are just like our parents before us. They were supposed to be the controllers, and they were the controllers. They didn't completely let go. Things changed in my time, but there's certain things that my parents, my, my mama was, she wasn't letting go, you know? I mean, we wasn't allowed to be that lazy as kids are now because we allow them to be lazy. We allow them to be lazy because they're coming up in a system that everything is done for them. It's everything computerized, everything digital. They, they they ain't just lazy physically, they lazy in the mind because the computers think for them. They don't got to remember where they going. They got navigation going everywhere. They don't have to remember a phone number. They got the cell phone. They don't got to remember. They don't have, it's all, everything is done for them. So it's easy to have a lazy mentality when, when you used to, 
coasting through everything. I mean, everything is pretty much digital. You push a button to do this, you click a button to do that. I mean, so it's understandable that some things changed. But like I said, folks, we are the adults. If there's certain things that we wanted to stay the same, if we wanted the kids to make sure they stay steady going outside and do our normal things that we did, then uh, we're supposed to make sure that we take whatever it is they playing in the house and shut that down. Make them get out there and learn how to ride a bike. Learn how to play some games, make up some stuff outside. I mean, um, you know, we, you know, they're getting into things. They, 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 they might be going through phases, you know, with the way they dress or the way they act, the way they talk back, or what else? All those things. Once again, if they living under our roof and we the parents, we control those situations, supposedly. But as the as the world switched, you know, you know, we I know we could things switch. You couldn't really get in their butt no more and do what you're supposed to do and, and, and really, you know, you couldn't you couldn't handle the kids in certain ways because the things change. Well. Things changed in schools like that too, because you know, we used to get our bus booked in school. So, but when those things changed, no matter what the law said, in your household, you can make things the way you want them to be. That's your castle. So, um, as it changed, to me, the all the adults switched, switched a uh, whole entire. Uh, Thoughts on things that, that we actually got scared of the kids we was raising. I mean, that's just the way things went. But damn, I ain't about to be scared of mine, but if we got scared of the way the kids were becoming and we just bowed down. We accepted the way things was. And like I said, if we didn't want certain things to change, we could have left them in our home. We could have left the fact that Okay, it's cool for kids to talk junk and they ain't really listening to the adults, but you could have made sure that they listen to the adults in your house. You could make sure that they obey in your house. You could have made sure that they clean. We got problems. Oh, the kids won't clean. Oh my God, my house, I've been working all day. This is my house, a mess. Well, that, what, I mean, what's stopping them? And nothing stopping them but us. We, we decide if they're going to clean up the house, if they're going to, do this, but they're going to, we did, we, those are our decisions that we supposed to make. So, like I said, we run around pointing the finger and blaming the kids when the truth of the matter, nothing in this world is supposed to move and shake unless the elder, the adults say so. So, once they got gone so far, don't get me wrong, once they got gone so far, you really can't take it back. You can't pull it back then because we let it get out of hand. Once you let things get out of hand, then you are on the losing side. They are already out of hand. But if we were to work to keep them in line in the first place, it wouldn't be out of hand. So we so busy trying to get make sure that the kid ain't mad at us, the kid don't like us, the kid. That shouldn't matter. The important part is to make sure that the kid is raised right. The kid is taught with respect and and and, 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 and integrity and and, and talk and raise with strength and and, and, and talk and, and got us get, get, get their mind right. That's where we come in. We were supposed to do those things no matter what. I don't care how many changes the world make. Those things can exist if we want them to exist. See, we weren't supposed to let everything go. I can understand compromising with certain things, but we just threw our hands up with it, compromise and bow down. We bow down. So, you know, now we're running around doing all this, all this, all this pointing when we should be doing this because it's ultimately us that let things get to the way they are. If the kids and them, if they have wars like crazy in the streets and with each other, well, look, your kid and my kid, a lot of times, you know, they're the ones going to be at it and we know each other. So, we got a we got an obligation to be in their life like that, to be in their so-called be in their business. I mean, I mean, we we understand the world is, you know, it's it's 
the savages. I don't know what. I guess they, you know, they they got they pay they got guns. Everybody got guns. Everybody shooting. They killing. Like I understand this. Well, uh, adults, we we've always had guns. We've always, you know, the fact that they doing crazy things with them, they killing at will, popping off like crazy. Well, that's just like I said. We let it grow into that. We let it get to that point. You know, we let this fester into that and we could have controlled them when they were younger and made them think different. But the biggest reason why we probably didn't is, truth be told, it's the job. See, you actually have to raise a kid. That means you have to deal with the fact that they don't like you, that they mad at you, they say they can't stand you. Well, you have to deal with that. As long as they don't tell you that and disrespect you with it, they can feel how they want to feel. But we didn't do what we were supposed to do is because of the job. We didn't, it's our lazy mentalities. It's us giving up and throwing in the towel and feeling like we don't want to go through this. Well, we should have went through that. We should be willing to go through that and we should be willing to get each other's back and and stand firm with each other in case we needed each other because, you know, it can get rough sometimes. But this is why half the things switched the way they did is because we didn't want to work to keep them the same. See, that would take work. That means we had to get up off the cows. We had to stop watching the game. We might have to put the, put the blunt down for a second. We might have to stop, come out and bring our butt home from the club, you know. Stuff that we didn't want to probably do, but... As a people, y'all, we got to get it together, you know? You know, I figure that, like I said, we got to stop doing all this pointing and pointing at this because it's us. So if we want things to be better, at some point in time, we got to make the change. We're looking for somebody else to make it, somebody else to step in and say, hey, oh, God, I got the solution. Oh, all the kids doing this. No, it's us. Talk to the kids. Be in the kid's life. Bust your butt, work. It's a job. Having a kid, raising a kid is a job. You, we will have to work. I don't care whether you live in a home. I mean, I didn't, my kids didn't live with me. They was with me a lot of times, but they didn't, they didn't live with me. They lived with their mama. I understand how that is, but guess what? I still had to bust my butt and take a chance on them not liking me and them not feeling me or whatever, but I made sure that they respected me. I made sure that I taught them what I needed to taught them and teach them and show them things that I knew that they needed to learn. I sacrificed for that. So that's what it is, people. That's my thoughts. My words Wednesday. I hope y'all uh, got something out of the day. Kids, grown folks, don't matter. Hope y'all got something out of the day. Learn, maybe learn something or something might have helped you. Um, once again, y'all can hit that like and subscribe button. Show sure appreciate it. And uh, leave a comment. Drop how you felt about today's topic. Say what's on your mind. It's when you get a chance to get feedback. Leave what you want to leave. So, uh, till next Wednesday. Uh, your boy Five Foot. Y'all be easy.